Hey family, Naisha on with the word. And today is Sunday, September 4th. Um, if my little cousin ever watched this video, um, happy birthday, Marco. Hopefully you watch this video. Um, but yeah, anywho, going back to to um the word that the Lord gave in Jesus' name. Um Heavenly Father, have your way in this place. Give your word to your people the way you gave it to me. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, so, <laughs> I just, when I just said happy birthday, Marco, it just made me think about my little cousin, like, oh, this ain't gonna be no, <laughs> oh man, happy birthday, Marco. Like, I really, I really hope you watch this video. Like, I really hope you watch this video, but happy birthday, Marco. Um, let's get into the word though. I was reading, um, in, was it Hebrews? Uh, no, it wasn't Hebrews. Lord, let's see. I like, I love how the Lord, he's calling his people to be more authentic and not um, scripted in a way. Like in the world, they have like this etiquette, you know, like, I mean, of course we know there, there are certain etiquettes that, you know, one follows, but it's like, oh, when you get on camera, you should do X, Y, and Z, or when you um, into a room you should do x y and z or whatever it's like a, a ritual in a sense and i love just how the lord is calling more of his people onto this platform especially to be more authentic and to be more of who he created you to be and not this image of um who you who you think the world want to see like the world the world meaning our brothers and sisters who are still in the world who have yet to come out they they can see authenticity like the fakest person can spot authentic like you they can spot an authentic person like you can because you know like but some listen that's besides the point but i was reading um about faith but it wasn't in hebrews 11 even though hebrews 11 is the hall of faith the lord brought me to speak about um the kinds of faith and i was thinking about noah like yeah because noah was very faithful like noah was faithful now this was like two two or three nights ago and i was like yeah noah's very he was yeah that that took some faith and it, um my past today is something he was talking about noah like this alignment alignment but this was a couple of days ago, a couple of nights ago, rather. And he was speaking about, um, he led me to read about Abraham. And a lot of us, congratulations on, you know, your Noah faith, meaning you, you did something that seemed totally out of the ordinary, but you stuck with it and you saw the promise of God. You saw what God said he was going to do. I.E. You know, you got saved. You know, you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. When everybody else was like, girl, you tripping. Boy, you tripping. You took this, that Noah faith and be like, I don't see it. But I'm going to walk out here and you still walking. You still building that boat. You know, keep building that boat. All right. Because it's going to be a flood. Keep building that boat because it's going to be a flood. Um... I was like, okay, yeah. And he was like, but we don't talk enough about the Abraham faith and why Abraham is called the father of the faith. And he just began to talk to me like, Abraham didn't have the time like Noah did. Like Noah had umpteen years, uh, days, or however long to make the boat, right? And Noah could consistently have been 
like god i don't know god did you really say this like we we don't know the whole story like from day one up until the finished day we just see that he did it right but understanding that Noah was still human. So I could just only imagine, not saying this is what he did, but he probably had days where he was like building this boat and was like, this show ain't never even rain. And I'm right here building a boat. People walking by every day, this boy straight building a boat. Y'all, look at him. I could only imagine like, he probably felt shame at some times. He probably felt um embarrassed he probably just felt Noah probably felt so many emotions like but he continually did it that's why it's congratulations and welcome more than anything welcome to the family who though everybody around you was club and party and you was like you took a, a u-turn and was like nah god is calling me to something else and you still building that boat so I was like, okay, yeah. He said, but we don't really speak about why Abraham is the father of faith, right? Here it is. Abraham was told through Isaac, yeah, I'm going to make you a nation. Your aunt, your um, your offspring will be as numerous as the stars. Your descendants, like, you won't be able to count them as numerous as the sand. And Abraham like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then one day, God said, now kill him. Hmm? The kill? Kill him? We don't, we don't read all that. I don't, but that's besides the point. So the Lord told Abraham, kill your promise. Kill it. Let it go. Okay. Abraham walked his son up to the mountain. With the wood and everything. Told his herdsmen, okay, me and the lad, we're going to go up, you know, do what we got to do. Sacrificing to the Lord. And Abraham, he building this altar. He's probably also feeling many emotions. And his son, look at him, he like, father. We got the altar, we got the wood, we got the fire, you getting it good. But where's the sacrifice? Here's the sacrifice talking to the person who's supposed to sacrifice. Here's, here's the sacrifice talking. But where's the sacrifice? And I could just imagine Abraham looking up through trying to hold back tears, but also keeping that faith in God and looking at his son deeply saying, the Lord will provide. Now, Abraham, he could have easily been like, you know what, son? The Lord want me to sacrifice you. Now, now, now Isaac would have been like, wait, what? Me? Hold on. And ran off the mountain. And now you got to explain to him all of this stuff. And then your, now your sacrifice gone. Now you've been disobedient because now the sacrifice gone. And Instead of him going through all of these words, he said four words. The Lord will provide. So as Abraham say that, he then takes his son, put him on his altar. And in the midst, he raised up his knife. Finna thrust it into his son's vitals. And just before Abraham, Abraham says, it says the, the angel of the Lord called out, Abraham, Abraham. Don't touch him. <laughs> now I see that you fear me for real. You is who you say you is. But what, okay, Nash, we know the story, but what's the, Noah had time, you know, to keep building his faith, you know, because the Lord, I can only imagine the Lord constantly kept coming to Noah too, but we don't read that. Abraham, he was literally seconds away from killing what God promised him. 
in the nick of time, he had to show his faith. I believe the Lord is calling us to be in a nick of time followers of him. Faith. Having that inner nick of time faith. Now this is different from impulsivity. Impulsivity is um, doing stuff on a whim. In a nick of time is like no matter how bizarre something may seem to you to still follow through with it. Even if it's even if you say you standing at the door and the Lord say get out the way. And you like, get out the way. I mean, I'm just standing here. And you don't know a whole, let's say bullet. I'm going to just go go in for it. A bullet finna come right through that door. You got to be able to hear, hear, the, hear, not only hear the voice of God, but recognize the voice of God. So we say, get out the way. You, oh, God said, get out the way. In a nick of time, faith, right? And I can imagine that when the angel of the Lord came to tell Abraham, he didn't say, you ever had like, yo, I know my mom, she used to do this to us a lot. She a nation. Huh? And it went silent. A couple minutes later, nation. Huh? She'll go silent. But that second silent, you better go see what she want. Like, ain't no third silent because she going to come in. You ain't hear me call? I can just see the angel. He didn't say Abraham. And Abraham like, huh? Because Abraham was so focused on God's mission that any other voice, even if it sounded familiar, he, he had to shut it out because he knew what God said at that moment right there. And he knew what God was calling. So I can see the, 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 the angel in the nick of time saying, Abraham, Abraham, like hurrying up, getting his attention. Like, yo, yo. Because if he was said, Abraham, by that time, I just feel like if he would have said, like, calm, Abraham, Abraham would have said, now, and that's the enemy. No, he had to get his attention. I believe the Lord is calling us in these, because we are in the last days. He's calling us to have that in the nick of time faith. Like, and, and what that means, to, in order to have in a nick of time faith, you have to be in constant communion with the Father so that you can begin to recognize more clearly his voice and be able to know like when it's a, in a nick of time situation that God's telling me to move now. Now. Not impulsive. Again, impulsivity is going out on a whim. Like you don't know, so you just gone. But in a nick of time faith is... Like what Abraham, that's why he's counted. He, that's why he's called the father of our faith. And it was counted unto him as righteousness. The father of our faith, because he didn't, he didn't, um, he didn't wait. Now he could have waited and not went up to that mountain when the Lord told him to. He could have waited. He didn't wait. He acted. And I believe the Lord is calling a lot of us to, to stop sitting back. When you know God and told you to do something. It's a call to total surrender. At this point, a lot of us, we have surrendered our, our uh, finances. We've surrendered our children, our relationships. And it's some things that maybe we held on to. Like, okay, God, I can handle this. No, he's saying this is a total surrender. Lay it all out. Like, lay Show you show your cards. You know, at the end of card games, they be like, all right, everybody show your hand. I guess that's how they play. I don't even play cards. Show your hand. Everybody show their hand, show what they had. He's saying, lay it all out on the table. Because he's calling us to have in the nick of time faith. And I am honored again to be before you all, blessed uh, in the Lord and we we there we there and it's glorious and i'm i'm just happy to be a part of it you know i'm just i'm just happy to be on for the ride and i thank god for each and every one of you in jesus name amen